The Lord bless you. Thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video. I encourage you to please watch the entire video. Your life will never be the same. Well, welcome to Divine Guardians International Church, where we are called to sanitize the church. The popular hell, popular heaven, bringing fulfillment to lives, and preparing the saints, preparing the bride, you, for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please, if you are watching this video and you are not saved, I'd encourage you to go back above you and hit the button that says, Accept Jesus today. It will take you to another page. God bless you. If you are safe, and maybe things are not going well in your life, I encourage you not to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. If you are safe and you are playing church, we encourage you to please stop and take your walk with God very serious. Or maybe you have been inconsistent. Please take your walk with God very serious. The issue of eternity is real. There is heaven and there is hell. No one knows the day nor the hour. You don't know when the Lord is going to call you home. Or you don't know when Jesus Christ is coming. So we encourage you to live a consistent holy life. The issue of holiness still exists in the kingdom. We serve a holy God. The Bible says with our holiness... No man shall see the face of God. So living a sinful life will hinder you in your work with God. The next thing we encourage you to do is to please partner with the Holy Spirit. Jesus told his disciples in St. John 14 that, I will not leave you often. I will send a comforter or helper to help you. On a day of Pentecost, the Holy Ghost came. Today, every believer has access to the Holy Spirit. One of the things that hinder his presence is sin. So we encourage you to live a life without sin. I'm not saying no mistake. We are humans, we make mistakes. But make sure your mistake is a mistake, not a lifestyle. The Holy Ghost will help you to understand the time and season we are in. We also encourage you to please read your Bible daily. It's very important. We are in the last days. There are so many false prophets, false teachers. The word of God has been diluted in so many ways. So you need to know the word of God for yourself. Do not depend on anyone. Find time in the day the word of God is full for you. Hallelujah. That's how you hear instructions from God. So please find time to read your Bible daily. The next thing we encourage you to please pray. Prayer is the language you need to communicate to God with God. So please, find time and pray. Do not depend on anyone to pray for you. Please pray for yourself. Learn to cover yourself daily. Ask the Lord to help you. Ask the Holy Ghost again to help you. Let prayer be a regular part of your life. The next thing we encourage you to do, please win souls for the Lord. Please tell somebody about Jesus. You cannot go to heaven by yourself. We still have many who are unsaved. So please find time. Please spread the gospel. Give out tracts. Use your testimony. Do not be afraid of anyone. It is your right to share your faith. Hallelujah. Do it with ways and the Lord God will help you. The Lord, there are benefits in winning souls. You will, have, you, will, you will be rewarded on the face of the earth. And there is also a reward for you in heaven. So please imagine no one told you about Jesus. Please tell somebody about Jesus. We also encourage you to please take the issue of grace very serious. Grace is strength. Grace is not a license to live in sin. Hallelujah. Grace gives you the ability to live above your weaknesses. Jesus is grace. Hallelujah. He will help you in your walk with God. So please do not follow Broadway preachers about the issue of grace. Please take that very serious. If you are listening to me and maybe you have been a faithful believer and maybe things are not going well in your life, I encourage you, please don't give up. We all go through different seasons of life, but God has a way of working all things out 
for our good and for his glory. I pray now for the strength of God to rest upon you. May God give you divine direction in the name of Jesus. I pray now for your marriage in the name of Jesus. May your marriage stay in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for your children. May they live an obedient life in the name of Jesus. I pray now for your health in the name of Jesus. I declare healing upon your life right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, I pray now that God will direct your step. Whatever need you have in your life right now, may that need need be met in the name of Jesus. I pray you will have and develop a consistent relationship with the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you. The Lord be good to you. And the Lord watch over your family. Please, please serve God and serve God well. The grace is released upon you. To do the impossible. Go and reach out to the nations. God bless you. And guess what? I see you in heaven. Thank you. Bye-bye.